Hey toy fans, Kyle here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the third cube weapon in the Zuo cube weapon series. This is Cube Kuma, the bear, aka the axe. Uh, and he is a little cutie. So this is just another entry in the weapon series, another little cube that comes out and helps them when they're in a time of need. Thus creating the need for another toy. Because, you know, we love toys. <laughs> so taking a quick look at the packaging, we can see you've got the cube right there. And you've got a little cube block mode. Uh, the packaging itself is basically the same thing as Mogura. Uh, on the top, we can see the little axe mode, boring info. We can see that this is a weapon for Wild Jewel King. Uh, and that's basically it for the packaging. Taking a look at the cube itself. Tons of cute little details. Uh, he's really, 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 really cute. He's got a silver butt. Lots of blocky molded detail. Again, this is obviously his non-photogenic side. This is his photogenic side. And he's a very, very, very simple little animal mode. I really like his face. I love the green eyes, the silver and the white teeth, which is a really nice touch. And all in all, it's just a cute little bear. So we're going to bring out all the other cube animals that we have gotten so far. Right here is Mogura. Uh, and there they are looking really, really nice. And this is what we have so far. Now, much like these two, it does form its own little exclamation block mode. So, what we're going to do, transform them all. And there they are. They're just like, ah, we're angry and we're mean, so we're going to give you a warning, exclamation point, we're weapons. Uh, and since it is a weapon, it actually does form into an axe that Wild Joe King holds. So we're going to move these out of the way, and we're going to bring in Wild Joe King. And there he is, and we can just take him and simply peg him into his hand like that and he can just hold it like an axe and that's basically all he does and all the other mechas like Joe Kang and Joe Wild they can all hold the axe uh, quite successfully and it's a cute little thing this does attach to the side of Tosai when that combination comes around much like all the other cubes which we're gonna take a look at in another day uh, that's basically it for Cube Kuma again uh, very simple, very similar to all of the other ones, but of course, an adorable little bear. And if you wanted to, you could actually pop these off and put Cube Kuma into either position on Wild Joe King. Uh, it's again, it's the beauty of this whole modular system. Uh, it's really quite nice. Uh, so if you wanted that combination, that's definitely something you could do. Now, I do believe that this is uh, the only weapon that can actually connect on either side. It's because Kidian and Mogura, they're both kind of stuck. They only have the one connector on each side. So that's another nice reason to have Cube Kuma. That does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and stay tuned because I've got a lot more videos in the works. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.